Well, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. We are just about ready for the action here. Kickoff is imminent. The teams indeed with us very soon, having exchanged their various pleasantries. What I have to tell you is that the weather may not be great for the duration of the evening. The clouds yet to open, but one suspects that they will pretty shortly. And when the rain comes, we are warned to expect plenty of it. Well, the Estadio Alejandro Villanueva is definitely a venue with an old-school feel. It holds about 33,000. Got things on the way. Drives it towards the front. Tries to get it forward quickly. Sambo and Gisa. He's come loose. Out to the left it goes. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Let's wrestle off the ball. Battles to win it back. Well, neither team has yet managed to impose any authority, and uh, as a consequence, this game's just drifted. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. by the keeper, he's read that well. Forward it goes. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Cameroon are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. Um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Loose ball, who's going to get that? And the counter is on. Hoists it forward. Sweet feet. Time to deliver. Sticks in a foot to win it back. And there's the end of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And the second half gets underway. A 
tight old game so far. Can that change now? A really good feat. Being played forward, fingers on the back foot. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Sambo and Gisa. <laughs> Aimed in towards the centre. Little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Got through. A chance to play it in. Cameroon merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Cameroon cannot afford to waste this if they want to avoid extra time. Well, that's where he wants it. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. <laughs> That's a case of crossing and hope, then. Unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. But there's going to be another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. 90 minutes gone and nothing to show. It is going to need 30 more minutes. No winner after 90. Well, the scoreline may have a disappointing look about it, Peter, but that's where it ends. I think this game has had a real lively feel, and I'm not ready to give up on it yet. Well, fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. No winner in 90, 30 more to come. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Beautifully done. So who's he picking out? Cleared without complication. And here's the chance to counter. And it's played forward. And he's surging through. Big chance! Oh, that was no routine save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort.
that's it for the first half of extra time. And we have to accept that penalties are now a realistic possibility. I think that either side is settling for that, given what a lottery penalties can be. The players are evidently tired, and it may come to that. Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? 105 minutes of deadlock, 15 minutes to break it. Who's he going to play in? Hit into the middle. Well, to be honest, I think they're all showing no substance. Where's the final product? Tries to locate someone up front. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Now it's a Bubakar. And that is it. There will be penalties. Yeah, maybe most were not expecting this to go the distance, Peter, but they can't complain about the graft and energy on show. I think the scoreline wasn't from the want of trying, and, and now it's lottery time. Tresha and Nerve. After two inconclusive hours, it is penalties. Real tension here, then, as the first man readies himself. They could really do with scoring the first penalty. And he's found the net. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. Abubakar with eyes on the prize. And the keeper's come up trumps. Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. This to double their advantage. Oh, good take. Keeper committed himself. And that doubles their lead. Cameroon trailing by two now. And he's missed it. It's a technical no-no. He got underneath it. The third man in the queue. Oh, what a save! That's a lovely stop from the keeper, he's done his teammates proud with that one. Cameroon can't afford to miss another one. Keeper's gone the wrong way. Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. Keeper's read that beautifully. He was so focused there, fantastic save. Up steps Mr Dependable. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Cooley does it! He was always looking good there, nice penalty. Cameroon must score here to stay in it. won it shootout winners it is such a compelling way to win compelling and cruel but they were so composed under pressure and that was the difference well, what a way to finish a long hard match those players can be really proud of their effort to have come out on top that was far from easy well that's it for tonight's match so it just remains for me to thank jim beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening